Okay, morning everyone. Welcome to the Wellness Health Services Health Talk. Uh, we are continuing our reflections on the kidney diseases, especially at this time that uh, we, the world is celebrating the World Kidney Day. It is important that uh, we reflect on some of the conditions that uh, affect the kidney, what are their main causes, and also we ask ourselves how can we prevent uh, these conditions so that we have uh, fewer people getting affected by kidney problems. So our topic of discussion today will be reflecting on nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic, nephrotic syndrome, as the name says, syndrome means a collection of signs and symptoms eh, which result from kidney damage and the main characteristic is one is proteinuria. Proteinuria means loss of proteins in urine. There is a hyperlipidemia which is an, ex uh, an uh, excess of uh, cholesterol in the blood. There is decreased uh, albumin in the blood. This is as a result of uh, the excess loss of uh, proteins in the urine and as a result of this uh, or low albumin in the blood leads to low uh, to fluid overload. So the signs and symptoms of this disease, there is an excess of fluid loss and there is also fluid overload, which presents with the leg swelling. You can have generalized body swelling. You can have abdominal swelling uh, with what we call ascites, which is an accumulation of fluid in the abdominal cavity. You can have uh, facial swelling, uh, there is an uh, increased risk of hypercoagulability, such that these individuals, they are at higher risk of uh, getting venous clots, and there is also an increase in the cholesterol levels of the blood, what we call the lipids, eh, when you do blood tests. And as a result of the fluid uh, overload, and the, this leads to increase uh, chances of uh, infections because fluid forms a good culture media for bacteria and other organisms to multiply. So what are the main causes of this uh, nephrotic uh, syndrome? Uh, some of the factors could be primary to the kidneys like uh, various injuries to the nephrons which is the main uh, fluid regulating and electrolyzing regulating organ in the kidneys, the nephrons, and they become uh, affected by various uh, immune mechanisms which leads them to more, more permeable to albumin and this leads to loss of uh, albumin in the urine. You can also have secondary causes of uh, nephrotic syndrome, conditions like HIV, uh, obesity, some drugs like the excessive use of NSAIDs like drugs like brufen, the clofena, there is genetic aspect of it, some malignancies, uh, and then infections like hepatitis B and C, and then diabetes. Then you have also other metabolic conditions like amyloidosis, where you have uh, excessive deposition of abnormal amyloid in the kidneys, leading to <coughs> increased permeability of the nephrons. Any person of any age can be affected, but it is common in uh, males and uh, females. Uh, the main diagnosis of nephrotic syndrome is uh, finding proteinuria in urine. There is a test uh, that is done where you have you do the urine uh, dipstick. Uh, you find that uh, there is an increase in the proteins in the urine. Then you can follow this uh, by doing a 24-hour uh, urine protein. Uh, another test that you can do is doing the liver functions and you can do the uh, serum albumin levels and because of the excessive loss of albumin in the urine, you have a decrease in the serum uh, uh, albumin. Then when you do the lipid profile, you find there is an increase in the lipid levels. Uh, then uh, you can also do immune markers especially if you are thinking that uh, 
the cause of the nephrotic syndrome is due to an immunological condition, especially conditions like uh, lupus. And the, finally, the gold standard uh, would be to do a kidney biopsy, whereby you take some kidney tissues and you take it to the lab for analysis, and you can uh, be able to diagnose various conditions that uh, affect the kidney tissue. Treatment, uh, this is the definitive management, and there is also the supportive. On the supportive side is uh, trying to get uh, the excess uh, fluid from the body using uh, drugs that, uh, that help to remove excess water in the body, like diuretics, the drugs like fusamide can be of help. Uh, then also fluid restrictions, how much fluid you take per 24 hours when you try to lessen the amount of fluid you take to less than uh, uh, 2 liters in 24 hours. A decrease in the salt intake, uh, this will, because salt itself, the sodium in salt helps retain water. And so if you take excess salt, especially the one that we had at the table, then you have an excess of uh, salt and this will encourage more food retention. There is a, an aspect of diet whereby you try to regulate the amount of proteins. You take adequate amount of proteins without an excess so that uh, you also don't increase uh, the amount of proteins in your body. And then uh, there is also control of the other conditions like diabetes, HIV, use of uh, ARFs so that uh, we prevent uh, HIV-related uh, nephropathy. Uh, optimal control of blood sugar so that uh, we try to delay uh, the progression to diabetic uh, nephropathy. And then also when you have the conditions that affect the kidney themselves, the glomerulonephropathies, then use of steroids. And this can be used uh, up to one year so that we try to prevent the immune uh, mechanisms that uh, are happening in the kidneys. And uh, in severe cases, then you have uh, use of uh, uh, drug-modifying uh, agents, which try to control the nephropathies so that uh, you don't uh, progress to overt kidney failure. We have said these individuals, they are at increased risk of uh, getting hyperlipidemia, statins have a role, and these are drugs that uh, are used to help to lower the lipid levels in the blood, so that um, the lip increase in the lipids uh, lead to what we call atherosclerosis, which is a progressive condition where there is narrowing of the blood vessels, and this can lead to cardiovascular events like uh, stroke, uh, heart attacks, and of course, uh, peripheral loss of uh, blood supply. Then, because of the increased uh, risk of uh, hypercoagulability, the risk of uh, getting crowds can be reduced by use of heparin, low molecular weight heparin. So, in summary, we are saying that uh, nephrotic syndrome is a collection of signs and symptoms resulting from kidney damage, and it is characterized by loss of proteins in urine. There's an increase in the lipids in the blood, there's a decrease in the albumin level in the blood, and there's the generalized uh, fluid overload. Uh, it presents with the uh, signs and symptoms of fluid overload, and affects uh, individuals of all ages, and it can be caused by different conditions, including diabetes, HIV, some drug use, and the infections like hepatitis and HIV. Prevention usually is uh, controlling the underlying conditions and also uh, there are some behavioral and lifestyle changes that can, that can prevent the progression of the disease. Thank you very much for listening to me and uh, I encourage you to subscribe to our Wellness Health Services uh, Health Talks channel so that you can benefit more from our talks and as we uh, celebrate the World Kidney Day. We encourage you that you take some actions which can give you better kidney health, uh, changing your lifestyle, including decreased intake of salt, uh, increased uh, physical activity and exercises, and uh, avoiding unnecessary 
uh, use of uh, drugs unless they have been prescribed and also control of the main condition, lifestyle condition like diabetes and HIV. Thank you very much.